Hello there, welcome to another video of SwiftCAD. In this video, we're gonna take a look about AR in some 3D dinosaur models. This is my seventh episode in AR Complete Course. If you haven't watched my previous videos, provided its link in my video description, check that right now. So, in this video, what we are trying to make is explore some 3D models from internet, download it and convert it into USDS format, which is required by the Apple, and then with that object, we are trying to implement an AR as a static one. So make, I just want to make a note that I'm not trying to apply any texture in this 3D model and uh, do some animations as well. But in our com upcoming videos, uh, we will be making this uh, model with animation and uh, up apply a texture to that as well. So stay tuned. Let's start doing it. First of all, what I'm trying to do is I just googled for download dinosaur model USDS file. Probably you won't be getting a USDS format as it is, but uh, we can find some other format as well. So there are a lot of sources I prefer to do in www.cgtrader. So uh, I'll be providing the link in my video description. So I'm just checking out for free models which I can download it and use. And I feel that. Uh, one of the model from here is good enough this one and I just have selected this one you can select whichever model you like doesn't matter about that so this finds uh, pretty good as well so I just uh, want to download it straight away so I just uh, download it after login so the login actually I have downloaded it already straight away you can download that from uh, store actually what you need to do is you need to Go to the assets and click uh, free download so it will be asking for another 20 seconds and it will download it straight away all right so i have the files downloaded already and which is like a fpx.rar obj say rar all the files are in a uh, rat format so what i'm going to do is i just want to convert that rat file into uh, a obj file which means i just select this file and upload that and just uh, I got the file as it is and uh, for final thing is what I want to do is I want to convert this uh, OBG to USDS file actually why USDS is Apple supposed to, uh, supports this uh, USDS file format in our reality composer so I just want to uh, I just want to convert that uh, OBG file to USDS all right so in order to do that what I found is uh, a site which is named here like portal of viewer.com actually I will provide this link as well in the video description what you need to do is you need to add a content by just uh, clicking uh, dropping the file over here and uh, it will convert that automatically all right so I have this uh, raptor.obg file and just upload it continue And from here you can set the properties uh, as well and then you can convert that into USDS file from here you can change some positions over here let it say like this and convert we have some options I have this here convert and download all right so I have downloaded the model over in my desktop let's name that as Racho you can name whatever you like Composer in my MacBook select a reality composer it will ask to open a new document click new document here you have the choose you have option to choose the anchor horizontal vertical I choose horizontal and then there will be default some objects click uh, let's make more space over here get yeah, uh, click the object and delete select this as well delete and what I'm going to do is add the plus button and there will be some options to add some objects over there let's click import in order to bring the converted file over here so let's say it's a rapture.usds format which I converted right now and just import that inside this here we go this uh, we have the object over here it doesn't have any texture or nothing else but uh, the thing is we have just have the USDS model inside this um, we will be trying to apply some textures uh, in the upcoming videos so as of now let's uh, make like this as static as it is 
all right and then what I'm going to do here is I just want to save the scenes so click scene and I'm going to name it as rapture as my scene name so you need to uh, name this as well and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the pro project so control s and then save save the object in my uh, iOS projects folder that's it you can save the project wherever you like in your desktop all right and then I just close this and I need to open the X code from here first of all I'm going to search for my X code right and open X code create a new project new X code project and it's asking for the platform which I need to select uh, let's say so here I'm using augment reality app click next and uh, I can name the product as rapture AR demo and uh, the content technology will be of reality kit so I select reality kit storyboard and language as Swift click next and so uh, you'll be asked to save uh, location so I'm going to save in my iOS projects folder create that you can save wherever you like so here the project has been created so for as a default there will be a experience.rc project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that one first because we are not going to use that anymore and inside this uh, view did loader as well there are some functions I just want to delete them and from if you go to the main dot storyboard you can see there is a AR view which is already set by default and it will be connected to our view controller there we go it's a view controller so we can start doing from view controller dot zip file so first of all what I'm going to do here is I just want to import AR kit inside this so let's say import AR kit so now what I'm going to do is uh, I just saved my reality composer RC project in my IS project folder so I just want to drag and import that file inside this Xcode simple as it is so let's destination copy items if need great groups checked mark checked and that's it and from here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare a var variable which is for to in order to initiate our rapture so let's say cat anchor rapture will be like a rapture dot rapture all right so then I'm going to override it function which is for override you will appear so from here we will appear I'm going to find some functions over here I'm changing the view will appear instead of uh, view super dot view will appear true and then let's say I anchor rapture will be equal to try of exclamation rapture dot load rapture which throws actually we know there is an object already there so let's say anchor rapture dot uh, collision shapes which is like a generate collision shape is actually nothing but uh, creates the shape uh, used to detect the collisions between the two entities that have a collision components actually so the next line is anchor rapture dot scene dot anchors will append that anchor rapture sorry air view dot scene and then I'm going to write a function which is for a setup AR custom view and let's see AR view dot automatically configure session let's say it has false and then I let configuration which will be equal to AR world tracking configuration and then configuration.plane detection will be 
equal to I want to set it as horizontal and vertical I want to be I want to uh, view the file when it is in horizontal and vertical as well that configuration dot textures will be an automatic type arv dot session dot run configuration at last uh, what's actually inside this AR world uh, tracking configuration is nothing but a configuration that tracks the position of a device in relation to the object in the environment that's it all right so we'll check much more cheaper later on so this is the thing actually we have And finally, what I'm going to do here is I just want to bring this function over here. So say, let's say set up custom AR view over there. All right. So I'm selecting my iOS device uh, as a target. And let's say run and check uh, what uh, we have done so far. All right. My build have succeeded. Uh, I just pre-recorded my uh, device output uh, in order to show inside the screen. So first of all, what uh, it asks when the app run is, uh, it may ask for the camera permission. So it will be like uh, Rapture Air demo would like to access the camera. Let's say OK, and uh, this object will set over. Actually, it will be like this. In the landscape all right so that's uh, all in this video actually the object uh, seems not much uh, attractive actually we need to apply some texture and animation so that will be doing in the upcoming video and that's all in this video and uh, in the next video we will make this uh, 3d object by applying some guest textures also with the animations so that uh, we'll make much more bigger ar apps all right so thank you for watching this video stay tuned